Hey everybody, today I'm going to be talking about one of my favorite programs, Tabular Editor 3. And this is basically a continuation of a video I did back in April where I did an overview of the, the general feature set of TE3. And I'll put a, a link to that video in the comment section. But in that video, in the interest of time, I really didn't have a chance to delve into the scripting capabilities of the program. And there's some really great functionality and some things that I think you'll find are, are big time savers and ways to really customize the program um, to make it work best for you. And so what I wanted to do today is just show you kind of a, a simple model. Um, this is just the Enterprise DNA Practice Dataset external tool. So it's just a simple star schema practice data set. Um, and I've just got it right now set up with one measure, but that's that's going to change quickly as we kick the, the scripting capabilities into gear. Um, so in terms of those scripting capabilities, if we jump into TE3 here, um, there's really four ways to bring a script into Tabular Editor. Um, the first of which is if you know C Sharp, you can just click here on New C Sharp Script and start coding away and then save that as a as a macro and that then becomes a, a recallable custom function in your program i think that's probably not going to be the way most of us access the scripts um, but if that is your inclination um, daniel has done a really nice summary of the capabilities of the scripting engine and the detail of programming in that um, and i'll put the link to this video in the in the comments as well but I think for most of us, we're going to be accessing existing scripts. There is a really cool um, script record feature. And I wanted to show you that because it, it kind of bridges the gap between some custom programming and using existing scripts. So for those of us that don't know C Sharp, what you can do is hit record here. And then let's say we want to go down and turn off the summarization on our um, on our year column in our day table. And so we go here, turn summarization to none, click that off, click save as macro, and we can just save that as um, turn year summarization to none. And that's not a super useful script. Um, it's pretty pretty limited in in its in its utility. But what this does is this gives you the the C sharp script code right here. And basically by <clears throat> by taking that code and then combining that with code that you find in existing scripts, you may be able, without a lot of programming experience, be able to build some some rudimentary scripts that actually do something quite useful. So in this case, what you could do is there's a for each clause where you could then apply that aggregate none to a number of selected columns rather than just the the date year column. Um, so one to make sure you know that that's that's there. It's definitely worth playing with. I I don't know C sharp, but I've gotten a couple of fairly rudimentary but useful functional scripts to work um, just using that that record and cut and paste functionality. But I think the more common thing is going to be to use existing scripts. And there are a number of repositories that are very helpful. Um, Daniel has put together in the TE3 documentation um, a whole library of useful script snippets um, that range from creation of measures to generation of documentation um, to formatting DAX expressions, creating relationships, kind of a whole range of, of scripts that you can, you can apply um, directly into your, your version of TE3. In addition, what they've done is they've created a, um, a community repository for people to, to provide scripts to the, the TE3 community. Um, and these are divided up into basic and intermediate. Um, and these are kind of buyer beware. Um, you know, kind of use at your own risk, but there's some, some really good um, useful scripts in here. So for example, this one, um, I'll show you how to pull in. Um, this is one 
developed by Edgar Walther here, and it's to generate, auto-generate count rows measures from tables. And I'll show you how this works. So basically, you just go through and you just copy this, this code down, make sure we got it all. And then into T3, let's do a new C-sharp script section, paste that in, and then we just hit save as macro. And we'll call this um, auto-generate count rows. And you'll see here in the macro context that this, this is for tables. So this is going to be for selected tables. It'll loop through and create that automatically. And let's, let's see how that, how that works. So if we go up here, and let's collapse our, our day table. And let's say for channels, uh, customers, products, region, and sales, we want to do count rows measures. And so we just click on those, click on macro, and it knows the, the context in which the, um, the available scripts are, are useful. And so it just narrows it down to the ones that operate on selected tables. Um, and then we just auto-generate count rows. And if we go here and search, I know just based on experience, this is generates something called number of rows. And we can take each of these, and if we like putting our measures into measures tables, we can cut these and then go back up into our measures table, key measures, and just paste that, and there you go. So you've got, you've got five um, simple measures kind of automatically created. Um, we can take a look, if we go to Expression Editor, we can take a look at what those look like. So basically just to count rows on the on the table. Um, but automates creation of those. It lets you move them around easily. And one of the things that I think is a really interesting one is if we go to total sales and then we click on that, there's a macro that lets you create time intelligence measures for every selected measure. And so let's click on that. And you can see what it does automatically is generates month to date, previous year, quarter to date, year over year, year over year percentage, and year to date. And again, it, it's super easy to move these around. We can take these and we can move these into a time intelligence measures table um, right down here. And so you, you can see really quickly that we can generate easily kind of a whole range of measures. We can organize these um, in really useful ways. Um, one of the other things we can do that's a kind of a constant annoyance to me is with that summarization. Um, so for example, if we go here and we're, we're creating a table and we pull that index column into the table and that just totals up and that's just, it's just annoying to have that happen throughout, throughout our, our model. And so what we can do is go in here to TE3, search on index, and it'll give us all of our index measures. We can go through and select these, and then macro set summarization to none. And so that turns off summarization on all of our, our index measures. So I want to show you a couple other ways we can we can generate scripts. Um, one of the things that we've done for those of you who are Analyst Hub users is um, Alex Badu and I have been collecting scripts from various sources, from some of the sources we mentioned, from some that we've cobbled together. And if you if you go into Analyst Hub and you search um, tabular in the raw code um, application. Um, we've collected a whole series of 
of scripts and you can just pop these open um, and just say copy code and just copy those directly into into TE3 as well. Um, so I want to show you that and then if we go back into TE3 the last thing I wanted to show you is in some cases um, where we've got kind of well-documented, well-established scripts. And let's take a look, if we go into macros, at um, the create some measures. And this is a really interesting one in that it not only creates a measure, it sets a format string, it provides documentation, it hides a base column. And what you can do here is you can actually copy this over and without, again, knowing really any C-sharp scripting, you can take and replace that sum measure. And so you could, for example, create max measures. Or one of the things I've been thinking about doing is creating um, selected value measures. So we could basically take and replace that sum of with selected value and automatically create on all of our selected columns our slice or harvest measures in a really easy, automated way. Um, so that's that's the basic functionality of scripting. Um, just shows you kind of where you can go to get scripts, how you can generate them on your own. The last thing I wanted to show you, and it's not really strictly a scripting measure, but it's it's something that is related, and it's it pertains to the best practices analyzer. And this is another function that we're going to be be delving more deeply into in another video. But I did want to show you, for those of you interested in using this, um, how to get the, the, the rule set loaded. And recently Microsoft published a very comprehensive 1.1 version of, the, um, of the, the rule set. And we've put that up in Analyst Hub. I'll also put the link in the comments. And what you can do here is if we just search um, best this best practice analyzer rule set and we open that up and say copy code that what you can do is then go into um, tabular editor um, and in the best practice analyzer you click up here and you say add and include rule from URL and then just copy that address in here and you'll see that that then lays out all the all the different rule sets for uh, the best practice analyzer and this is an amazing feature in the in the program and we'll be as I say we'll be delving into this in more detail but I wanted to show you just how to load that so that you can you can go through and begin to play with that on your own. So that's the the basic functionality that I wanted to cover today. Um, as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks again. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the content covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us, and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website. Plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best. Take care.